All right, so hi guys and welcome to the video. And today's video is going to be on how the sidemen keep how the sidemen keep so successful and so relevant continually on the YouTube algorithm. So if you don't know who the sidemen are, but you might you might be from America or something, and they are like the phase of the UK. They make real life videos more than gaming videos, but like they just make a variety variety of different videos in real life videos where they all come together once a week on a Sunday and then make a video. They also have two channels, so if you haven't heard of them, heard of them, have a look at the channels after the video. Now I just want to touch on that point about phase back in back in about. 2016 time they were popping it and I was I literally watch every single video from FaZe. I'm British but it was in my recommended all the time um, FaZe new uploads but they didn't really capitalise on the channel on the channel the main channel it, most of their videos were on the individual channels it wasn't on the main FaZe channel whereas I think that's what Sidemen have done differently and I think they've done a much better job at making their main channel their, what they focus on I still make their own videos but I think the main channel really does support the whole group and just when we're on the topic of people that are in the Sidemen a lot of people in my last video were and I was saying that I look like Josh from the Sidemen. I, I never really thought of it like that, but when when I never really thought of it. When I do look at myself back in the recording, it does I do look a bit like Josh, and I think it's got something to do with the, like the facial hair and that. I just thought I'd add that to the video because I thought it was quite funny when I saw the comments. So one of the big reasons they're so successful, and I don't want to, I know everyone's expecting it, but it's because they have got KSI, they've got JJ in the team, and it might only be a small reason, but it does just, just help to get that out to more even more people when they post because pe obviously loads of people subscribe to JJ, so. So if every time the sidemen post, if he like promotes it on his Instagram, say, that just furthers the amount of people that get to see it. But giving credit to all the other guys, all of the channels, all of the people that are in the sidemen, the channels are huge. I think it's Toby, he's got the least subscribers, right? But he's still got 5 million subscribers on YouTube. So I think it just proves that everyone in that group is huge. And when I say Toby's got 5 mil, I mean across both of his channels. But that just shows if he's the lowest subscribed, like KSI, he's got, I think he's got nearly 30 mil with his first and second channel. And this is so huge when it comes to it because they can all drive traffic just like JJ can to the one video or the one channel and I think that's how they've grown so fast. Their actual team channel wasn't that big until recently, maybe the past two years, because they've focused so much on it and pushed it in their own videos, helping to promote the channel. And another big reason is a lot of their videos are like a follow-up video, like they'll do Sidemen Tinder, then Sidemen Tinder 2. They'll do Sidemen Tinder in real life, then Sidemen Tinder in real life too. So they're like follow-up series. So it's a bit like people who binge watch um, TV shows on Netflix. The people who aren't subscribed to the channel, that's what they do. Probably. So they see one video, then watch part two then they watch part three they're very, they're very good at making like a series out of a video and it's very similar to what JJ does like he's done the one question go series and he's made multiple episodes on it and then he has his reddit like people keep on returning for the same thing it's very similar to people returning every week for a, for a new episode of a series that's exactly what they're doing but they're picking the stuff that people like all right so it's song of the week time and if you don't know what I do here I just say my favorite song from the last seven days I let people comment below if they've got any ideas of songs that I might like in my past videos I've put a clip of the song in so people get like a taster of the song but I'm not gonna do that anymore I'll put the the name of it I'll put the name of it up now it's by Billie Eilish I can no longer put the clips in because the copyright in the video and although I don't make like any money off of videos obviously I don't want to be getting like copy copyright strikes all the time what I'm gonna try and do now is remember to like link them below below so you can go and check them out if you've got any ideas of songs that I should check out for next week just let me know and I'll and I'll feature it in the next video and, and give you a shout out or something so another huge reason why they're so successful is because they've all got relatable characters. Every single person in that Sidemen has got a relatable character. Somebody can relate to them in some way. It's a bit like the in-betweeners. If you've watched the in-betweeners, a lot of people from the UK probably have, you'll understand what it's like. If you're in a group of friends, you, you can always like put one person to every single person from the in-betweeners. And it's similar with them, each person can relate to someone from the Sidemen. And I think I can relate to KSI for my own reason. But everyone's got their own reasons to relate to other people. I'd say like junkies might relate to Harry, you know, because of his little drug problem. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. And if you're a professional sumo wrestler, you might like relate to KSI a little bit more. Right, so moving on, another big reason is because they are all friends outside the videos. It's not just for the video, they all get together and that's it. They used to live together, a lot of them. I can't remember who lived in the house exactly, but there was a couple of them who didn't live in the house. Um, that's how they started out. They were all friends to start with before they made the YouTube channel. And I've seen this where mainstream media might try and replicate some of the videos that you've seen online. And it just doesn't work out because there's no chemistry there. They are friends that just come across in the videos. They're just open with each other and you can just, they can have genuine banter with each other. Whereas more of the mainstream media might be more, it might come across as more fake. So I actually think one of the big reasons that they they succeed in the YouTube algorithm is because they make original content. It's a bit like what Mr. Beast does, but it's a bit like how Mr. Beast has his own content. They have their own content as well. 
and it's it's original stuff that's never been done before. And I know people might say, oh, they've done hide and seek. A lot of people have done that. But, but let's be honest, the amount of videos that people haven't done, I'm pretty sure they were the founders of the real life Tinder videos. They make videos that are different. They make titles so it grabs your attention. I think all of that just helps them succeed on the YouTube algorithm. So they're not just out here making like Fortnite videos or whatever the current game is. They're not doing what everyone else is doing, they're putting their own twist on it. And another big thing is that they are investing in these videos, they're put, putting mega amounts of money in. They're reinvesting back in the brand all of the time. You might think they're earning a lot and they probably are, but the amount that they actually reinvest back into the brand to make new videos and help to make even better videos, I just think that is one of the big reasons why they are so successful still and they keep on growing because the production, everything about the videos keeps improving instead of just staying the same. I've enjoyed making this video because it's been a bit different and it's something that I've noticed that they're like their channel's so successful and it's, and it's not just like they've got one video that went viral they're just consistently doing well so for that reason I might make another video on the sidemen I'll obviously take a bit of a different stance from it but I haven't I have enjoyed making this kind of video please do comment below some ideas that you want if you want me to do more videos on each of the sidemen individually or between them or you want me to do videos on other youtubers just comment below what you want what you want to see from this channel hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy please leave a like uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and obviously comment below whatever videos you want to see from me. Thanks for watching.